a lot of um, people believe that dadgad tuning is pretty much limited to playing in uh, Celtic styles. And I, for a while, I was doing a lot of, I guess you'd call it sideman work, because I was just I was being hired like for these one concert at a time by all these different musicians. And I found that, um, especially with the Celtic musicians, sometimes it was more comfortable to play in standard, sometimes in dadgad. So I would try to learn all the tunes in both tunings, depending on where we ended up doing the most um, tunes. But then I discovered that I can actually do anything in dadgad that I can do in standard, and pretty much vice versa if I just pick the right key. Um, when I did the Shades of Blue album for Solid Air Records, I, did, uh, I decided to keep the guitar pretty much in dadgad for a lot of the album. And what happens is really cool if you're getting a little blues flavor on top of... Um, on top of these, this tuning, it gives you more um, flexibility in the strings because you're tuned down. So you can actually get a stretch almost like you would on an electric guitar. You can you can really stretch the string, and that's harder to do when you're tuned to standard. I mean, you can do it, but it, it's really it hurts after a while. <laughs> so there's a lot of tune a lot of the tunes that I, I enjoyed playing, I found I enjoyed playing them better tuned down like this. So Meant to Be was one that I wrote um, that has to do m mostly with a groove. And I do this on a lot of my tunes because um, I just I love hearing a guitar player that can sort of accompany himself or herself. And and when you hear that it's um, it's just fascinating to me because you hear the bass, you hear the drums, you hear the rhythm, you hear the melody, you hear all these things happening. And so I, I made a challenge for myself in this tune to see if I could create a sort of a drum beat that would happen all the way through the tune. Um, and I wanted it on two and four, so it would be one, two, three, four. Well, that was fine and good as long as I was doing something like... You know, as long as it was pulling up with the string and then coming down and hitting it. but all the melodies I wanted to play um, were falling on the guitar in such a way that it would make it impossible to do that. You had to play a note when you're coming down. And I thought, well, how am I going to do that? Because, you know, I'm trying to slap the strings. How do I get that effect and create that? So what I decided is that if I hit with the back of my nails as I come down, it gives you that little click just like you get with this. So it almost sounds like you're doing the exact same... Uh, thing with your right hand when really it's different. I'll show you on this. Uh, meant to be starts with this. So I'm starting right off with and I hit the strings and then and I hit with the back of my nail and you hear this the nail hit the strings and it sounds kind of like that. So when you get um and the goal in doing this is to play all the way through the tune and, and keep that pattern. So you can just sort of, the way to practice this, the way I, I liked, uh, the way I practiced it and the way I teach other of my students to practice it is to take a tune you're really familiar with. Um, something like, I don't know, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Anything that makes sense to you, you know, that you can just play even on one string so you don't have to think much and just try to get that... Whoops, I did it wrong. <laughs> so what I'm trying to do is make sure that every note is being played, but then there's always this click on the two and four. So, so it's thumb, back of the nail. It's all that's the same. Then there's no note here, so I have to hit. That sounds simplistic, but it, when you try that, you'll find it's very difficult to, to keep that going. So I, I worked on just doing a number of different um, different kinds of patterns. I just took patterns that were easy for me, and I figured out different ways to create a beat. Um, it may be on all four, like this. That would be another way, and I'm still doing the same thing. I'm hitting down, and if I'm not playing a note, it's just a slap. If I am playing a note, it's the back of my hand. So let me play a little of Meant to Be and show you this. Uh, and 
that's a pull off. This is the hardest thing in the tune to play. It's a pull off and um, back of the nail combination. When you get to this. <laughs> Then you have to get and then up again. So it's uh, <laughs> see I didn't get it. <laughs> That's what it is. I'll do it again. And the only way I can do that, uh, I miss it a lot. I probably missed it in this uh, performance, but it, when it comes off right, it's just so cool. <laughs> And just to create that groove the whole time, you can try this on any tune. You can try it on accompanying a tune that you already know, one that you sing. You can do this really on any song you know. Just try playing the chord. Just try different things and see if, how it feels to you. And then try it on the downbeat every time, you know. Like I was saying, do something like this. Just, you can hear these little things right here. Just try this for a while and then say, well, now I want to play a note. I'm going to play a note up. Okay, I'll try that again, see. And then I say, well, I want to play one down now. So I go, same note, but with the back of my nail. So if I want to get a combination, I might do a hammer on. <laughs> So, um, let's see. There's nothing like that it meant to be, but it's just a technique you need to practice, just rhythm, rhythm. And uh, if you can just take time out of your practice to learn rhythm, it'll help you in everything you do. Um, in this kind of tune, it's you have to have the rhythm down. It has to be really solid. The other thing I'm doing in this tune that's very bluesy is I'm doing this thing where I'm stretching one string but holding the other string right next to it. So when I go there's a little bit of a little bit of vibrato and then and then here I'm starting with the string already stretched. That's a very cool sound and most people will stretch up and down again like that. But if you can stretch it up first and then come down it gives you this sort of crying sound. I just love the way that sounds. There it is. Um, the middle section of the tune is um, is fairly simple. It's it's almost like a pattern in chords. You can see how I'm staying with first, third, and fourth all the way down. rest of it is just trying to keep but this is the only part where that little um, slap goes away well, actually it doesn't actually the nice thing here is that you don't have to uh, you don't have to play anything on where the slap is you can just you can just play the slap in between your chords So that's um, those are the most important things about that tune for me is the rhythm, making sure the rhythm is very solid. Make sure you always have that click on two and four. Get those stretches so that you're stretching them down instead of up. It's it's something you have to learn because it's. Uh, I think I got it from Eric Clapton or someone originally, but the sound is so sweet when you can just go instead of going. Everybody can go. Everybody seems to be able to stretch like that. But if you can start with the note you want, then you'll have a much sweeter sound. <laughs>